on how to do this problem. If they're asking for the seventh term, the main important thing is I know the first term is going to be 2x raised to the seventh power. Right? Mm -hmm. Just and follow my path here. Whatever the first term is, it's always raised to that highest power. Then I know the next one is going to be um, you know, plus. It's going to be 2x to the sixth. So that's the first, second, plus 2x to the fifth. That's the third, plus 2x to the fourth. That's the fourth term, plus 2x <coughs> cubed. That's my fifth term. And then plus 2x squared, which is my sixth term. Now, again, I could have done this the other way, right? It would have been probably a little bit quicker going the other way backwards. But we'll just kind of go just to make sure you guys can get through as far as on the process. All right. Then we do the other term from ascending order. So therefore, we have, um, and I'm going to include this, uh, the negative. So we have negative 3y to the 0, negative 3y to the first, negative 3y to the second, negative 3y to the third, negative 3y to the fourth, and negative 3y to the fifth. Does everybody see how these terms go in ascending and descending order? It's the exact same pattern I did over here. But now I have the little expressions with numbers in there, so I've got to raise that whole expression to that power. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Then I look at this, and I know that we also have our coefficients based on our Pascal's triangle. Well, again, starting on Pascal's triangle, rather than trying to memorize that, I know that this is going to be x us, or this is going to be my binomial squared. So we have 1, 3, 3, 1 is 4. We have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 is the fifth. Sixth term is going to be 1, 5, 10. 10, 5, 1 is the sixth expansion. And then to the seventh expansion, 6 squared. Did I miss? Oh, I skipped a 3 to 5. Yeah. So that's 3. 4, 5, 6. So that's 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And then last but not least, we have 7. So that's going to be 1, 7, 21, 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 35. And I said what? The fifth term? So 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth term. So therefore, 35. So, oh, why did I do 6? I don't know why. I guess I was thinking 7. OK. So my fifth term is right here. And then what should I multiply my coefficient? What should I multiply that term by? What should the coefficient be? 35. 35. So you multiply by 35. So basically I have 35 times 2x cubed times negative 4y to the fourth. And now, yes. And that's another way of thinking of the ascending and descending is, yeah, they're always going to add up to 7. Yes, very good connection. Huh? Negative 4y to the 4th. Negative 3y to the 4th. That was a good catch. I was trying to throw in some mistakes, see if you guys would catch them. You pass the exact first quill. See if you guys can pass the next one. Okay. So now we just do this. So we have 35. 2x two, two cubed is, or 2x cubed is going to be 8x cubed. And then negative 3 raised to the fourth is going to be na or it's going to be positive, and that's going to be 81. y to the fourth. And then I need to multiply 35 times 8 times 81. Thank you. What was it? 22,000. And then that's going to be x cubed y to the fourth. Well, that's cheating. <laughs>